Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to create a jet engine, spaceship engine or anything similar very easy in Blender. So I've prepared a scene with an old turbine engine I got from Sketchfab. Let's create a circle which we will fill up in edit mode by pressing F. I will give this a new material and change the principal BSDF to an emission shader. Change the color to something you like, in my case I want it to be blue. Let's also crank up the strength to 100. I will then move this into the engine behind this circular grid pattern I've created. This will give the engine a more interesting and complex look when seeing it from behind. Let's create a cylinder and make sure to set the capsule type to nothing or delete them by hand. Right click, shade smooth and place it at the back of the engine. Create a new material and again swap the principled BSDF to an emission shader. With the Node Wrangler add-on active, press Ctrl T to create an image texture. I'm opening up this clip of a blowing torch. You can capture your own clip of something similar, but I'll also put this clip I'm using in the description. With the clip loaded, let's mark a seam and unwrap the cylinder. In the UV editor, I will scale the UVs to fill up the whole image. I then scale it on the Y axis until we have it repeated about 4 times. Move it down a bit so that the seam is on the black background. Let's give the clip some frames and set it to cyclic and enable auto refresh. Create a transparent shader and then combine it with an emission shader using an add shader. This will basically work as an add blending mode you know from other nodes in Blender. To see it in Eevee, go under your material, under viewport display settings and change the blend mode to alpha blend and the shadow mode to something other than opaque. Let's give the cylinder some edge loops and with proportional editing active, let's scale down the end a bit. When looking at it from the side, the edge is very hard. To fix that, add a mix shader behind the edge shader and plug the transparent shader into the first socket. Create a layer weight node and use the facing output to have the edge of the cylinder turn white. Let's turn the blend to 0.7 and invert the facing output. Plug that into the factor of the mix shader. To make the thrust more blue, I will add a mix color behind the clip and set it to multiply. By setting the color to a saturated blue, I can control the amount of blue with a factor slider. I will set the emission strength to 10 to make it a lot brighter. Currently it looks very sparsely populated, so I'll duplicate the plane, scale it down and rotate it to fill in the holes. I'll duplicate it another time, but this time scale down the UVs on the Y axis. This will give us an overall haze for even more volume and fill up the holes. Looking closely, you can see this ugly line where the different cylinder layers interact with the engine. This is a problem with the engine model I'm using and might not occur for you. Nevertheless, I'm going to show you how to fix this. Let's create an ambient occlusion node, set the sample to 8 and plug it into a color ramp. Multiply this with a layer weight node that makes the edge transparent. Set the factor all the way up to 1. This now got rid of a lot of our engine thrust. So let's dial that in by lowering the distance and tweaking the color ramp. In my example, the engine has a second part in the middle. So for that, I create a plane, scale it on the X axis and give it the same thrust material. Let's press U, reset and rotate the UVs 180 degrees. We can now scale it to the length we want. Let's duplicate it and rotate it 90 degrees to have it also work from the top. When rendering this in cycles though, we have this transparent line where the two planes intersect. To get rid of that, let's first combine the whole thrust into one object and in the shader editor duplicate the ambient occlusion and color ramp. Select only local and combine both color ramps with the color mix node set to difference. Invert it and that should get rid of the ugly line. When looking at the engine from the back, all the beautiful thrust disappears. That is on purpose, since they are just two dimensional and do not work when looking at it from the side. To still have it look more interesting, let's select one cylinder in edit mode, duplicate and separate it into its own object. 
remove all the inner edge loops and scale the outer edge much smaller and move it into the engine. Again, scale the UVs down on the Y axis so that we just have this blue haze. In my case, I also place it in the center of the engine and then join both into one object. That's about it. You can now tweak the length of the thrust by scaling it on the X axis.